So guys, there is not some good news when it comes to Meghan Markle and this whole court-related stuff and it's just not looking good for her right now at all. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Morali. Follow me there. I would appreciate it. Head over to my Instagram, guys. Subscribe to my podcast as well. Hashtag I'm over it. The links are below. I would appreciate that. I genuinely would. And let's just get straight into this video where Meghan Markle... It's just not looking good. The Duchess of Sussex has now agreed to pay the mail on Sunday's legal costs for the May's pre-trial hearing in which the court struck out part of her claim against the newspaper. Meghan Markle, who was suing the newspaper over its publication of excerpts from a private letter sent to her father, agreed to pay nearly £70,000, $87,000 to the publisher. A rep for the Duchess confirmed insider that she would have to pay the legal costs. Now, why is she paying the legal costs? Because she lost the first round of her court battle against the newspaper. Meanwhile, the Duchess is fighting to keep the names of five friends who defended her in an interview out of the public domain after she was asked to reveal them in court, and I believe she has won that because they are going to be private. But Marco's attempt to prevent the Mail on Sunday from reporting the name of the friends who first mentioned the letter in the interview with people last year was the subject of a new hearing on Wednesday. It was a defendant who forced the claimant to identify the names of the five friends in a court document by serving a request for further information that required those names to be given and for her part we submit that the claimant has done what she reasonably and sensibly could to protect their rights. A new rep for the mail on Sunday had no intention to even publishing the names as you know they say but it's just not looking good for her because she has lost the first stage of her court battle. And when you lose a stage of a battle that looks like this, it doesn't look like it's going to be great for the foreseeable future when it comes to this situation. But I do hope that she continues to persevere. But I, it just it doesn't look like that at all. And it's just a shame. Um, today's ruling, well the ruling when it was made, makes it very clear that the core elements of this case do not change and will continue to move forward. The Duchess rights were violated, the legal boundaries around privacy were crossed, a part of this process, the extremes to which the Mail on Sunday use, distortive, manipulative and dishonest tactics to target the Duchess of Sussex has been put all on full display. Unfortunately, whatever the Mail on Sunday have you know, done to her by leaking parts of letters that were sent to her father and so forth, you would think that she would have a strong case, but that's just not how it looked because now she has to pay nearly ninety thousand dollars for their legal fees because she's losing already when it comes to this court battle it doesn't look good for her right now it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing things positive but let's hope so that we do while the judge recognizes that there is a claim for breach of privacy and copyright we are surprised to see that his ruling suggests that dishonest behavior is not relevant we feel honesty and integrity are at the core of what matters or as it relates to the mail on sunday and associated newspapers their lack thereof Nonetheless, we respect the, the judge's decision as a strong case against Associated will continue to focus on the issue of a private, intimate and handwritten letter from a daughter to her father that was publicly leaked by the Mail on Sunday, which was of course a gross violation. It's a sad step that this has happened and hopefully, you know, this is very disheartening for her. How is she going to move forward, continue with this case with a positive mindset? But I feel like you have to be when it comes to situations like this and hopefully she will continue to persevere and win parts of her cases because right now, guys, it's not good news and it's not looking good. This, of course, took place just under a week or so ago, so this is not like fresh stuff, but with court stuff, it continuously develops and progresses, so I wanted to wait a while to see if anything else would have taken place. Let me know your thoughts out, guys, when it comes to this. Subscribe to the channel, head over to my Instagram, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.